Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you like the new filming space. Uh, not sure about double pillows here. Um, <laughs> we did some rearranging. Futons now in the dining room. It was a whole thing on a vlog. I'll leave it below. So, recently, we were at the Dollar Tree. And they had a lot of stuff there for stocking stuffers. Now, I went and bought these all a little while ago, so I don't know what all is left. I bought them at like the very beginning of December, pretty much, like a couple weeks ago. So, if you're interested, I'd say go look as soon as possible because I know a lot of times their like seasonal items go pretty quickly. However, when we were there, I found like everything I needed for my toddler's Christmas stocking. And I was really surprised. Like, I did not expect, when we, when we went in there, I did not expect to find everything for his stocking. I, I didn't even go in there with the intentions of buying things for his stocking. Um, and of course he's two, and so he's easy to please, candy, cars, you know, it's not hard to please a toddler. Um, so I don't know if they have everything that you would need for, like, an older child or an adult. However, I'd say if your kid's, like, six and under, you can definitely make them happy, um, with the, the goodies they have there at the Dollar Tree for their stocking. So, I thought I'd just go ahead and do a little haul for you guys. So, first thing in here is a Nerds Rope. Those are like the gummy, not gummy candies, they're almost like a, oh, what would you call it? Soft gummy rope <laughs> covered in Nerds. Uh, my husband actually bought this for himself and I didn't realize it and I put it in with my kids' stocking stuff and then my husband went to get it out and I was like, why are you getting Levi's? candy rope because I thought my husband bought it for our son and he was like I bought it for myself but I guess our kid can have it so <laughs> now it's for our kid but uh because I didn't even see these there but he he's the one that picked it up put it in the cart so candy rope then I got him a little play plat play play pack um comes with like four crowns one sticker sheet and a 24 page coloring book I thought this was super cute they had other ones that were like I think like Disney characters and stuff, you can also find these at like, you know, Walmart and stuff. Um, but I think the ones at Walmart are a little more expensive. So, but on the back, like you can kind of see some of it, not a whole lot, you can kind of see the crowns and the coloring book and the stickers, but I just thought he might have fun with this kind of, he, he doesn't like stickers. My kid's a little odd in that department. He likes them until like you put them on him and he doesn't like the stickiness. They freak him out. He doesn't like it. Texture thing. So like just giving him the sheet of stickers he would enjoy. It's just when you take the stickers off the sheets, <laughs> they become a problem. After that, I got him another little activity book. This one is a carry-along activity pad. It has Mickey Mouse on it. So it's like a little coloring book, different pictures there he can color. And in the back, it has some, uh, some crowns for him to use as well. Oh, and it has stickers. So these we've seen, and he thought they were the coolest thing ever. They're not Hot Wheels, but they're about the size of Hot Wheels, which Hot Wheels are my child's favorite thing. And this is called Vacation Playset. <laughs> they had a couple different kinds, but we got him the blue truck and it is towing a little like pop-up camper. So he was he was pretty excited about this. It was hard not giving it to him immediately because he was really into this. And then we also got him a big old monster truck. He's had a few um, cars kind of like this in the Dollar Tree before they held up pretty well. He had a monster truck that had buttons that worked like you push it and it made sounds and that thing got left out like all summer in a sandbox and it still works so <laughs> I don't know how but uh he really likes that other one he has so we went ahead and picked this one up too. Then we got him a little snowman to go in his stocking. This is one of those things where I more got it because it's cutesy but to be quite frank this was kind of like a throwaway. I mean, he's not much for stuffed animals. It'll probably go right to Goodwill. It was kind of an impulse buy on my part because I thought it was cute and I felt like he needed a stuffed animal in his stocking because I had stuffed animals in my stockings when I was a little kid and I loved stuffed animals, but my kid doesn't. Like, he would probably have preferred it if I bought him another vacation play pack. So, this is kind of a mommy fail, but this is going in his stocking nonetheless. You know, there's no squeaker, no buttons. This might end up being a dog toy. We could always go that route. So there was a uh, selection of different little books you could get. 
So these are um, like a hardback book. They're, you know, they're tiny. This one's called Rudolph and Friends. You get two books in a pack. They had, like I said, there's a variety. There was like Mickey Mouse. There was a few different ones, but he really likes stories. He really likes books. And I really like getting him the hardback ones because he's not always gentle. So hopefully he enjoys these. Just a little side note, my cat is rubbing his face on my camera tripod, so if things get shaky, my apologies. <laughs> this guy is no help when it comes to filming. So the next thing in here is kind of what spawned my whole shopping spree down the seasonal aisles of my Dollar Tree, and that was when I found the King Size Ruffle, Russell Stover Marshmallow Santas. Now this was something I got in my stocking every year. I've been putting them in my son's stocking. Granted, the last couple years he's been too little to actually eat it. This will be the first year he can actually have it. And uh, I was surprised to find the king size at the Dollar Tree because I was thinking the king size was more like $2 or so. If it was like Target or Walmart, could be wrong. But uh, yeah, when I seen that, I was like, okay, we'll, we'll just get this for Levi's stocking. It's cheaper here. And then as we went looking, I started seeing more and more stocking stuffers. And before you knew it, we had a cart full. And yeah, so this kind of started everything. So next one here is a sticker activity book. <laughs> Stickers and numbers. And I thought it was cute. It has like penguins on it and snowballs. And it's got counting and places he can put stickers on the book. So like I'm not so sure he's going to be into wanting to do the stickers himself. Because as I said, he doesn't like the feeling of stickers on his fingers. But I'm sure he'll like the book. And he'll probably like helping me do the stickers, like, you know, showing me where to put them because I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but it's got like little places where they're like kind of uh, blurred out the characters in the book and then you put the stickers wherever the characters are at. So moving on, this next one here is for me. I needed a new pair of gloves. These are supposed to be like touchscreen gloves. They've got like the little uh, gray spot there, so we'll see how well they work. Um, but I needed a new pair of gloves. My last pair had a big old hole in the finger, so... <laughs> These are for mommy. And then I got my kiddo a new cup. This one is Paw Patrol. He's had a couple cups like this from a Dollar Tree. He loves them. I'm so glad they're so cheap there because these get mold really quickly. Uh, he's had a Lightning McQueen. He currently has a Spider-Man. And um, they're just, it's hard to get the straw cleaned. And if the cup gets forgotten, gets left sitting somewhere with like milk or apple juice in it, it's kind of like a game over. Like you have to be on top of it with these cups. There's no like waiting till tomorrow because it, you can't clean the inside of the straw very well. Like you really need to rinse it out, get soapy water in there as soon as possible to get them clean. So he loves them. But this is like this is our third character one, and he had another that was like like this, but it just had the straw to have a character on it. So technically our fourth cup like this in total. Um, however. They don't spill much. They're pretty. They're pretty good for toddlers. <laughs> um, easy to replace. I just toss them in recycling when they get moldy. And uh, yeah, I mean, not a whole lot more to say about it. If you're looking for some good cups for your toddler who's maybe transitioning out of a sippy cup, I would check check out Dollar Tree. They've got some pretty good ones there, and they're a buck. So when you gotta replace them, which inevitably you will because they get forgotten and left out places and your kid sticks in the toy box or something like that. Um, they're easy to replace there. Last couple of things in here are candy. So we got him some sweet tarts, like a little sweet tart ornament. But again, it's just going to go in a stocking. Um, it's got the little candies inside. And then I found him a bag of coal for all the times he's been rotten this year. And it's called Double Crisp Coal. Being naughty, it never tasted so nice. So I'm guessing this is going to be a little bit like a crunch bar because we're the ingredients. It has cocoa powder in it, along with several other things, and it's got crisp rice. Um, so I'm assuming this is going to be a lot like, um, like a little candy bar with like the crispies in it. Mommy will be eating some coal for sure. <laughs> and then these my son picked out. He thought they were so cute. Uh, they're little gingerbread men. He gets two in a pack. Um, not sure how these are going to taste, sorry about my dog, I'm not sure how these things are going to taste. I feel like things like this at the Dollar Tree that you don't really know what the brand is, it's kind of like a hit or a miss, they might be amazing, they might taste like dirt, who knows, but they're cutesy. He's two, so he will probably eat them anyways, if I tell him, tell him that they are cake, <laughs> he will probably eat them anyways. 
So that is everything for my Dollar Tree haul for my kids stocking stuffers. I hope you did enjoy it. Again, I bought all this stuff a couple weeks ago, so if you're interested in anything, I would head to the Dollar Tree as soon as possible. Hopefully they're not too picked over yet. Um, but I hope you did enjoy this video. Give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you've not already, and I will see you in my next video.